Alright, what's up guys? Today I'm going to explain two methods on how you can get exploiters banned inside of Arsenal. If you find this video useful or you just enjoy it, please do like and subscribe. Let's get into it. So in this video I'm going to show you two methods on how to report exploiters inside of Roblox Arsenal. The first one works when only game moderators are online and the second one works at any time. Both methods do require having a Discord account. Before we get into any of these methods, to be able to actually do them, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on the link in the description labelled Arsenal Discord. You should be prompted to join the Arsenal Discord server. Join the server and verify your account. Once you've done that, check the members list on the right of your screen. If there are any game moderators online, you can do this method. There are actually two options for doing this method. The first one is if the exploiter is still in your game. Either way, I would recommend recording the exploiter using their exploits just so you have evidence in the case that the exploiter does leave the game. Anyway, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open the Roblox website, go to settings and open the privacy tab. After going to your privacy tab, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to scroll down until it asks who can join me in experiences. Change this option to everyone. After doing that, go back to the Arsenal Discord and ping at game moderator with your username so they can join you and the exploiter's username. Be sure to make it obvious between yourself and the exploiter as you don't want to confuse the moderator into banning you. Send the message and hopefully the moderator should be able to join you and ban the exploiter. Alright, the next way of doing this method requires you to have some sort of recording software. The Roblox inbuilt recorder will do, but the video quality must be good enough so that you can very clearly see that the user is exploiting. You will first want to record the exploiter. After recording the exploiter, what you want to do is you're going to want to open YouTube Studio. After doing that, you're going to want to hit the upload button and you're going to need to upload the recording of the exploiter to your channel. Go to the visibility page once you've checked everything and click on unlisted and then hit save. Next, go to the content page and then click on the three dots on the video that contains the exploiter. Then click on get shareable link. What setting the video to unlisted does is basically it doesn't make it publicly available on your channel, however people that have the link can still view the video. Then go to the Arsenal Discord and go to the general chat and put at game moderator, followed by the exploiter's username and the link of the video that proves they are exploiting. Again, this only works if game moderators are online. Now I'm going to show you the method to report exploiters when a game moderator is offline. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Arsenal Discord, however this time you're going to want to go to the channel that says report exploiters. You're then going to to join the discord called Rolf exploit reports and you're going to want to verify yourself after that you want to go to the hashtag arsenal channel and do the same method to upload your youtube video of the exploiter then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put the exploiter's username the reason and then the link of the video send it in the channel and it will be dealt with when the moderators are available see you guys that's all for today's video if you enjoyed it please like and subscribe i'll see you on the next one have an amazing day guys and goodbye